Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Chaotic Mindfulness. This is my first video and I wanted to do a bit of an introduction and I thought why not have some fun and I have one of my daughters do an interview with me about what to expect on the channel. So here we go. Zoe, what do you got? Okay, so why did you want to start this channel? Oh, the good question. Um, you kind of had a part to play in it. Um, over the last few years I've had some experiences with kind of a mixture of things. Um, part of it is just learning how to practice mindfulness in my everyday life, working towards simplifying my life in a lot of ways to be able to make time to do a lot of the things that I would like and um, just be less tired and less busy and things like that. And also just kind of learning that I have something to say and it's okay to say it and I've been working really hard lately especially on being more authentic and showing who I really am and then you kind of over the last I don't know six months or so have kind of been saying hey mom you should have a YouTube channel hey mom you should have a YouTube channel so I kind of thought well you know that could be a good medium for just being able to say what I have to say so thought why not give it a try what really, I just realized that question was really similar to the first one, but um, what, how'd you come up with the name? Ooh, that was a hard one. I am really, really bad at coming up with names, especially like, you know, you kids were kind of easy because I had baby name books and names that I always liked and stuff like that, but I was, the coming up for a channel name is, for me, was really hard. But I've always had a hard time with like that with like writing stories and things like that too. And it's just not a strength of mine. So what I did was I took um, a piece of paper and wrote down everything that had anything to do with what I wanted to talk about on my channel. And what was my message and what did I want to do and what were some of my interests and things. And I just kind of did a big brain dump of a whole bunch of stuff and then I played around with words until I found a combination I liked and when I came up with chaotic mindfulness I'm like that's perfect because I'm trying to practice mindfulness and I'm trying to simplify life and I'm trying to be more mindful yeah in the moment and intentional about how I do things and stuff but it seems like even no matter how hard I try things still get really chaotic and I never completely zen and part of that's my personality type too you know I'm I'm a Myers-Briggs INFJ and that kind of means that my mind is always going and thinking and processing and um and stuff and so I can never be completely at rest even when I try to sit down and relax it just doesn't always completely work unless I'm falling asleep so there's always some level of chaos even when I in my mindfulness. So I thought, you know, that's kind of perfect. And I can kind of be a little bit ironic at times. And I thought that name kind of fit in that way too. I still thought of that, that other one named work better. I still like the other name better. <laughs> yes. So one of the other names that I had considered was Defying Chaos. And the reason that this one liked it so much was because it reminded her of a song from a musical that we both love, which is kind of where I had that name inspired from. So, you know, Wicked for the Win. Um, what are you gonna really do on this channel? What do you wanna get in depth with? Mm. Okay, well, we might have just some sit and have some coffee and chat about different topics, you know, related to the journey or to events of the day or, you know, topics related to, um, you know, mindfulness or simplicity or things like that. And that would probably be like just kind of sitting outside in a nice, quiet environment with a cup of coffee or tea and just talking, maybe even um, have some guests to do things like this at times. I do a lot of creative planning, so we'll probably do some plan with me and show my process for that and how to manage the chaos and um, stay organized and stuff like that. My lilies are kind of blowing in my face here. <laughs> and 
Um, you know, one of the tools that I have found that really helps in managing chaos in my life and making things just a lot easier is doing meal planning and meal prep. So we might do some of those kinds of things together too. Um, yeah, so just kind of a mixture of lots of different kinds of things that would have to all fit into that theme of mindfulness and simplicity and things like that. What is some things you're considering doing but not really sure about doing? Hmm. Like vlogs on the weekends or? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I haven't really ruled out anything at this point. You know, I, I don't want it to be too, like, I don't know. There's that, there's that line between not wanting it to be, like, the same thing all the time and just getting boring, but I don't want it to be so diverse that it's, like, kind of, like, where's she going, what's happening, you know, I can't keep up, I can't follow, you know, so, so try to, well, I haven't really ruled out a lot of stuff, um, yeah, I, I don't know that anything's completely off the table. I think we'll just kind of see as it goes what it, what what people like the best and what I'm the best at. And, you know, I'll be learning as we go a lot, too. So, What are some of your favorite things to do? Oh. Other than working and hanging with your kids. Okay, planning. yeah. So I do love my, my full-time job. It's pretty awesome. And I do like hanging out with you guys. Um, but yeah, so you mean like some of my hobbies and stuff? Yeah. Okay, so I am a knitter. Um, however, I can't remember the last time I actually sat down to knit. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Um, I'd, I'd like to pick it up again. I just, I haven't. One of the things that I haven't had a lot of time, or no, that's not fair. Well, one of the things I haven't put as a priority lately. Um, I am very interested in learning new things. Um, as you know, I've been on a part of my journey in the last few years has been trying to get healthy and stuff. And I like learning things about becoming healthier. And we'll probably talk a little bit about some of that stuff too. Um, I am a planner person. I decorate my planner and do a lot of creative planning. That helps me stay organized and things while also giving me a chance to be creative. So I do a lot of that. That's probably one of my biggest hobbies. Um, I play Sims a lot. That's that's probably something we won't see on my channel just because um, it kind of doesn't really fit. It doesn't fit. Yeah, but I do love Sims. Um, you know, I, I like to read. I am a big fan of books and musicals and movies and will often reference a lot of those kinds of things just in everyday life as you know you know I can make a Harry Potter quote out of just about anything um, <laughs> and yeah she's even got her Harry Potter shirt on um, I, you know I enjoy a good cup of coffee and or tea and things like that um, Yeah, I have pretty diverse interests, but I'm also pretty much just uh, preferred to be, you know, the more simple homebody kind of lifestyle. So I think I'm happiest when I'm when I'm, you know, in a nice, beautiful place like this outside, enjoying a beautiful evening, or just sitting at home doing doing quiet things. I'm I don't prefer going out a lot. Who inspired you to do this? Well, I kind of already answered that. Other than me. Other than you. <laughs> I, I like, like, explain your question, I guess. Like, what, who, like, if this makes sense, whose YouTube channels did you watch that maybe oh, you, like, really okay. wanted to start? So my, yeah, the YouTubers that I watch a lot of um, are pretty diverse. You know, there's a couple of minimalist channels that I follow both on YouTube and Patreon um, that, I, that I get inspired by a lot. Um, a Small Wardrobe and Simple Happy Zen are two of those. Um, I watch a lot of planning videos. I think the one that I 
watch the most is probably Planning with Bumble. Um, I really like Mary Ellen there. Um, I also am a, really into personality types and things like that and being an INFJ especially, I, um, I like to watch Frank James and his channel. And my son is here mouthing at Zoe something. Okay, Zoe, where's the phone? It should be for a paper charger. Okay. Then there, I'm on the Since you were the last person I knew. Richard, you know we're recording, right? Yeah. Okay. You can edit. You can edit me to call me out, can't you? So, another one of my brood. You didn't get to see him, but you heard him. I'll probably leave that in just because it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, and I'm not very good with editing yet, so, you know, there's that too. Mm -hmm. All right, Zoe, we're already kind of getting to be a little long, so um, I anything have else? more questions. Okay. Um, what's something that you'd want to film, but you probably couldn't? I think like, you already asked me that. Or yeah. Um, what's the one the most diverse thing about yourself? The most diverse thing about myself? Well, not diverse, but like different thing that not a lot of people do. Um, oh gosh. You know, I think we're our own worst judge of those kinds of things and we don't notice those things. So I am going to turn that back on you. What do you think is the most unique thing about me? My mom likes to dye her hair a lot, so currently she has like teal hair, but she's had pink hair, purple hair, and a bunch of different cool colored hairs. And she's actually inspired me to dye my hair purple over this pandemic, but it kind of washed out so you can't really see it. I think also you could probably throw in there just that I, um, I do tend to reference a lot of books and movies and things like that a lot. I don't, you know, some people do that, but not everybody. Yeah, I she, don't know if that makes me unique, but she references things a lot. So she she's also really good with picking up books. All the books she suggested me to read, I've gotten really in, like Harry Potter and Divergent. And I want to read The Hunger Games because she likes The Hunger Games, and she keeps suggesting it to me. But I'm still reading Divergent. I am a big fan of a lot of different kinds of books. Um, but young adult literature tends to be one of my big go-tos, that and historical fiction. And of course, you know, like nonfiction professional development um, or not even like self-care type things too. Um, yeah. So uh, I think we're gonna wrap that up here. I hope you like this video. Um, if you um, do, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to come along with us on the, me, us on this journey, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.